In this lesson, we will learn how to connect to a session and also how to publish and subscribe to streams. In the previous section, we created an express route that will create a session and also create a token for the client. So now let's declare the variables to host those values. First, we need a variable for the API key also for the session ID and a last one for the token. We also need a variable to store the room name that we will write that we will send to the server. And let's also define a constant for the server base URL which will be HTTP localhost 3000 this is because our server will be running on the on the port 3000 so now that we have our variables let's declare an event for when the user clicks on the go button to do so we will write button enter and define an on click event this will be equal to an anonymous function and then here, the first thing that we're going to do is add a small validation just to make sure that the value that we set at the name of the, of the room, it shouldn't be empty. And if it is empty, then we will show an alert saying, please type a room name okay now if everything goes well we will take the name from the input text and we will store it in the variable that we create for it so we get room name equal to input dot volume now let's consume the row that we have previously created and to do so, we will use the function fetch, which will receive this server base URL concatenated with the route, which is room and the room name as a parameter. Now, the, 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 fetch, the fetch function will return a promise. So let's add a then handler for the response. And in this case, we're going to receive adjacent object because as we can recall we set the header of application JSON but we need to process that object to be able to read it from JavaScript so let's return the response converted to JSON and uh, we also gonna get our, a promise free a promise from this so let's add another then handler and now we have our object that will be readable by JavaScript so we can get the values the API key the session ID and the token Now, now that we have all these values, we're ready to initialize our session, create our publisher, connect to the session, and also send, uh, start subscribing to all the streams that are generated. So we're going to create a method here called initialize session. Well, we're going to call this method and we're going to create it in a second. But before, let's also add the catch handler in case there's anything that in case anything goes wrong in these promises so in here we're gonna declare in here we're gonna call another function that we will create call handle error oh we need a dot here there you go okay now let's create the function that we have just mentioned initialize session 
So um, the first thing we're gonna do here is to is to make that our login div height and our video div is show is shown. So we're gonna use our fabulous mechanism <laughs> for making this, which is using the style or setting the style to display none in the one that we want to hide and also set the video div style to display block okay so now we're gonna follow a series of steps in order to be able to connect subscribe and publish to the open talk platform so the first step is to initialize our session and to do so we will use the OT object which we have access to because of the script that we added in the HTML file so we're going to use the init session method which receives the API key and the session ID and now the second step is to define an event handler for such session this will be the on stream created event this event will trigger whenever there's a new stream in the talkbox platform for this session so let's define the handler we will receive an event and what we're going to do here is we're going to use the subscribe method of the session in order to tell uh, open talk that we want to subscribe to the newly created stream that is available under the event object we also need to pass the id of an html tag to receive that stream so we're going to use the subscribers div so let's put subscribers and let's also set some some properties the first one it will be the insert mode which will be append and also the width and the height of the stream that we're gonna gonna receive in this case this will be 360 pixels and height will be 240 pixels finally we need to set a callback function mostly to see if there's any error so we're going to use that handle error that we are that we have used that we have used before now we have two steps first initialize the session and create the subscribe event now we need to create our publisher which will we use to send our own media to the open talk platform so to do so we'll create our publisher using again the OT object this time we're going to use the init publisher method once again we need to set an HTML element to receive the stream that that, that, that is going to be generated by this publisher initialization as we said before somewhere Behind that publisher lies the call to get user media. So we're going to use the publisher div that we have created. So let's send that ID. Publisher. Okay, we also need to set some properties. I'm just going to copy paste the one that we created before. And once again, we need to add callback function mostly for seeing if there's any error so the next step is to actually connect and once we're connected to start publishing so we're going to use the session object that we have initialized and we're going to end the connect method for the connect method we need to provide a token for authorization let's create a callback function here and if there's any error 
let's call the handle error function send in that error oops it's, it's just error and if everything goes well then we are able to publish our media using the publish method of the session here we need to send our publisher that we have just created and the callback function in case there's any error okay so we're almost there before seeing our application in action let's create our handle function handle error that will receive an error if there is an error we're simply gonna alert the error message okay that's pretty much of the stuff we need to code in the next section we'll run the application and also look under the hood using talkbox session inspector when you're ready move to the next lesson